So guys, where in Vancouver do you see a robot serving you some food? You just don't see it. You only see it here. <laughs> That's amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So we have a treat for you. We are at a prestigious Chinese restaurant where they are serving up a fusion of traditional, luxurious Chinese dishes. And their signature dish is the Beijing duck that they're going to be bringing to our table and serving it right in front of our eyes. This place is called, and I'm sorry for my pronunciation, Xuan Shi Dua Beijing Duck House. And we're gonna be meeting some of our friends in there Let's go. <laughs> wow, hi. Welcome to Ida Chen to the Beijing Duck House. Thank you. you. I'm great. Look at this. This is a beautiful entrance. Thank you. Wow, hello. <laughs> Hi, Chi Chi. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this is our host area, which is designed from the uh, Palace Museum's library. Oh, wow. Uh, which was made design in blue. Yeah. So when you come inside, you feel like all calm down. Yeah. The color is the same like with the table. And yeah. also, you can see the same with the, uh, in the dining hall. Yeah. So all of us is like uh, same like the Palace Museum. Yeah. Everyone feels, oh, I'm coming to China now. Yeah, it really feels like that. Like I went from Vancouver to China. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you enjoy the thing. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Culture wall. Chinese food culture. Oh wow! Uh, other word here uh, means uh, cooking method. Cooking methods. Yeah. Like these are words. Yeah, words. Chinese oh, words. Oh wow! And, and also one of the great toy inventions in China. Wow! Yeah, and they had to carve everything out. Yeah, yeah. That's, that means red. Yeah. Red pepper. <laughs> oh, that's, that's so plate. cool. Yeah, and that's a logo. Nice. Yeah, I love it. Very nice. The whole piece we shipped from China. Oh wow, fancy. <laughs> okay, let's continue. <laughs> The Beijing duck dates back centuries ago and was established in 1864 under the Chinese emperor. Although Peking duck can trace its history many centuries back, Quanzhou's heritage of roast duck, which is prepared by using open ovens and non-smoky hardwood fuel such as Chinese date, peach or pear to add subtle fruit flavor with a golden crisp to the skin was originally reserved for the imperial families. And tonight we are honored to try this historic food. Wow guys, take a look at this beautiful Beijing feast that we're gonna have here. And they just carved up a beautiful duck right in front of our eyes. And we are gonna try the duck first. So I was told from my friend Chi Chi that this is the serving chopsticks. So I'm gonna grab the duck with these 
And we have a beautiful turning table right now. Am I going for the crispy one? Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna start with the crispy duck skin. Look at that. I'm not good with my chopsticks, everybody. <laughs> and then, oh, we gotta dip it in the brown sugar. Good, and then into the secret sauce. Yeah, oh, on the plate. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to this, obviously. <laughs> then I got my eating chopsticks. There we go. <laughs> and then do I dip it in? No, you just eat it. Oh, just eat it. Mmm. Like I was expecting crispy which I got, but it was juicy at the same time. Wow, that is amazing. Oh, and the brown sugar is so good too. Yeah, that was amazing, duck skin. Never had that and it's so good. <laughs> so now that I got a little demonstration from our friends, we're, I'm gonna try it now. So I use my serving one and I'm gonna grab, oh. Okay guys, it's clear that I'm not good at chopsticks. <laughs> We're gonna open it up. Wow, it's very thin. You have to be so careful with it. Look at that. Hot. And we're gonna put the sauce on it. So a little bit of sweet sauce on the bottom. And then next, we do some cucumbers. So this is the traditional way, right guys? And then we have onion and got my serving chopstick and get this signature duck. You can see the crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. I'm gonna get one more. Oh yeah, the dip. Let's dip it in. Dip her in, baby. Look at that. Oh, I need it. I thought I was gonna drop it. Okay, and then what I'm really good at is wrapping it because I do a lot of burrito, tortilla at home. <laughs> Look how cute that looks. Look, Alfonso. <laughs> oh. Cheesecake factory. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Wow, I can eat like 10 of those guys. That's dangerous. <laughs> that is really good. And the duck, mmm. Mmm. Juicy. And the onion adds a lot of flavor too. Wow, that is really good. So we, as you can see, we got a variety of food and this one is like a bean curd. So the actual, what I thought was like a tortilla wrap on the outside is actually a tofu skin here. So I'm gonna hold it up for you guys so you can see. And then the inside, there's a bunch of beans and then some carrots and yeah, that looks really good. So super traditional Beijing dish. <laughs> Oh wow! It looks like a pepper sauce. Mmm. Mmm. It's like crunchy. The outside is soft. And you got those carrots on the inside. And there's some sort of a sweet sauce in there as well. Mmm. And it's actually refreshing because it's cold. Well, wow guys, this is amazing. What an experience that you have here. I mean, you feel like you're in Beijing. Look at everywhere. Beautifully done. Yeah, the food is like 10 out of 10 the, so far. The food is, yeah. It's like a 12 out of 10. It's like exceeding my expectations. Yeah. Especially that duck skin, everybody. Let me just rewind and tell you how good that duck skin was. I was expecting it to be crispy and kind of dry, but it was like crispy and so juicy. It, it was shocking. <laughs> So here we have Shanghainese style smoked fish. Mmm. Is this sugar coated? Yes. Yeah. Oh wow. Wow, it is a little bit sweet, guys, and crunchy on the outside. Mmm. And very juicy and smoky flavor. So 
I'm getting hit with like crunchy, sweet, smoky fish. How good does that sound? Mm. So guys, where in Vancouver do you see a robot serving you some food? You just don't see it. You only see it here. <laughs> That's amazing. I am a robot. Do you like the robot? Do you like? <laughs> Watch the robot. It's gonna make its way back home on its own. Look. Oh, it smiles too. Oh. There it is. So here we have an appetizer. It's a cold shredded chicken. Um, so you can see all the vegetables around it. The chicken looks well seasoned. It's got some crunchy, maybe onions or cabbage. Look at that beautiful bite. Colorful. Oh, this is gonna fall. Mmm. Wow. Refreshing. I get hit with flavor right away on my lips. A little bit of salt, pepper, and just that chicken is very soft and moist. You know, nicely oiled up and well seasoned. It was very refreshing. Really nice appetizer. Okay guys, so here we have this beautiful lamb chop. Look at the glaze. Look at the glaze on this lamb chop. Evenly coated and a generous size. Wow, I can't wait. Let me try the sauce. That's good sauce. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Sorry, did I say that too loud? <laughs> that is a next level lamb chop. Oh my gosh, it's sweet. Look at the juice inside of there. Oh wow, everything I've had is just up to par. This is amazing. Let me take one more. Mm. Oh wow, incredible. Well done, lamb chop. Mm. I wanna lick my fingers, guys. So good. So here we have another amazing dish. So it has scallops and shrimp, and they put it into this nest bowl, which you can actually eat. <laughs> so let's try this shrimp here. Wow, look how big this shrimp is. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. It's like buttered, moist, garlicky, juicy. It's actually this oil tea that uh, you were telling me. Oil, mm. tea. oil, oil tea. tea. Yeah. So it was cooked in an oil tea. Excuse me. <laughs> and like the cook on here, guys, is amazing. The chef back here we were just discussing is like a Michelin star chef. Everything he's putting out is like a 10 out of 10. I was expecting, you know, the dishes to come out and, you know, just kind of thrown on the plate. But everything is done in so much detail. And this shrimp is so good. Mm. Good. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's not even done yet. I was like feeling good with the shrimp. Now we're going to try the scallop. Mmm. Wow, look at this pretty scallop. Ah. Gordon Ramsay says it's so hard to cook scallops, so, but look at this cook on here. Amazing. Mm. Wow. It's like, I don't even have to chew it, guys. I can just like sit back, relax, and let it melt. <laughs> let the scallop melt. Wow. Amazing. I kind of want to try this too. <laughs> this little nest thing with some onions. Mm. 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 Wow. 
that dish blew my mind. That scallop, you won't find a scallop like that anywhere. That was insane. Look at my eyes. Insane. <laughs> so here we have the crispy rice done in truffle oil, fagua with scallops. And from what all of my friends are saying, they're saying is delicious. So let's try it. You can see the crispiness of some of the rice there. And then, uh, oh, it looks like there's some egg and done in some nice truffle oil. Mmm. Oh, wow. Right? Yeah. There's um, the crispy rice just like pops out every time I bite. Yes. It's like I'm always getting crispy notes. The rice is like insane. And let's talk about the truffle oil because it just punches out at you. Um, and then the scallops, they just add to it. But the flavor of this rice, guys, is like next level. This isn't no boring rice. This is like high quality rice. And I love that each bite I take, there's some crunch to it. Mm. <laughs> wow. So good. And I'm gonna try some of their greens. Bean sprout greens here. Look at that beautiful color. Mm. Well cooked. I don't have to chew through those vegetables. Some vegetables, if they're not cooked right, you have to really chew through them or they're hard to break apart. But these are just soft, garlic buttered. Mm. Amazing dishes, guys. Okay guys, that wraps up this amazing meal. I can't tell you enough how great all of the dishes were. The duck was insane and all of the seasoning, the cooks back here, they really know what they're doing. I'm gonna leave this restaurant in the description below. You have to check it out. This is one of the best Chinese fine dining I have ever had. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video, subscribe so we can continue making great content for you guys. And on that note, just, Just keep on dancing. dancing.